Where do you think we should put them? Oh, oh. she's asleep. She who sleeps knows nothing. She doesn't know a thing. Let's hope at least today is not the day that it happens. Oh, oh. oh let's not keep on about it. Oh, for God's sake, look at this, Harry. This cyclamen is beautiful. <laughs> A new species, my latest one, uh, Cyclamen Helena. <laughs> no ships. No ships. Oh, it's, it's hopeless, team. We've had it. Quiet. What if she hears you? Oh, she doesn't know a thing. Well, at least the Ultimus docked on time. Oh, do you think it today might be the day? I, that... I, I don't know. The, the flowers are lovely, thank you. Uh, the primula is one of my new ones. And this is my new jasmine. In fact, I'm right on the threshold of a whole new garden of paradise full of new flowers. I found a wonderful new way to accelerate development in all sorts of new species. Next year, I'll be performing real miracles with flowers. Next year? Well, let's see what happens anyways. Any news from Lahav? Quiet. Nana! <gasps> Everybody up! Oh! What a mess! What a bunch of evens! Oh, God forgive me if I don't- Nana, come and zip me up, please. All right, come in, come in. God almighty, they're a bunch of animals. <laughs> the robot. No, no, I don't even want to say the word. What's happened? We caught another one of them. Started smashing up all the molds and models he did, grinding his teeth and foaming at the mouth. It just went crazy. Oh, worse than animals they are. Oh, which one was it that they caught? Oh, that, that, Christ! He hasn't even gotten a proper Christian name. The one in the library. Radius. Yes, that's the one. God, they make me sick. Not even a spider I don't hate as much as I hate them heathen. Don't you even feel sorry for the Nana? Well, you hate them and all. Why'd you bring me out here for anyway? And why can't any of them even talk to you? I don't hate them, Nana. Not at all. I just, I feel so sorry for them. You hate them? Everybody hates them. It isn't possible not to. Even the dog hates them. Won't take a scrap of meat from them. Sticks out his tail, he does, and howls as soon as he gets the smell of them. The dog doesn't have reason. He's better than what they are, Helena. He knows perfectly well it was God what made him, and that he's better than what they are. Even the horses take fright when he comes across one of the maidens. They don't have children. But even a dog has children. Everyone has children. No, then do me up here, please. All right. It's against the will of God. That's what I say. The work of the devil it is, making scarecrows like that with the machines. It's blasphemy against the Creator. It's an offense against the Lord who made us in his own image. Helena, and you've been dishonored. The image of God, that's what you've done. You'll suffer a terrible punishment from God for that, you will. Just you remember that. A terrible punishment. Yes, yes, I know, Nana. I know. What is that nice smell? What? Uh, it's the flowers. The master put them here. No, they're lovely. Nana, come and look. Well, what day is today? I don't know. Day of judgment, I should think. Harry? <laughs> Harry, what day is it today? Well, guess. Oh, uh, anniversary. No, um, my birthday. Uh, better than that. Uh, I don't know. Tell me. It was ten years to the day that you arrived here. Ten years? Already? <laughs> o on this day? <laughs> Nana, please. <clears throat> All right, I'm going. And you remembered it. Actually, I'm ashamed to say I didn't remember. But... They remembered. Who? <laughs> oh, Bossman, Hallemeyer, all of them. Uh, look to your left there. Uh, what is it? Pearls. A necklace <laughs> of pearls. Uh, Harry, are they for me? Uh, that's from Bossman. Oh, well, we can't accept them, can we? 
Of course we can. Uh, reach into my pocket here. Okay, let me see. Harry, what's this? <clears throat> um, that's not it. Um, try again. Why are you carrying a revolver around with you? Uh, well, it just got in there um, some somehow. <laughs> Harry, you never used to carry a gun. Oh, of course, you're quite right. Um, try this pocket again. Uh, a little box. <laughs> a cameo. <gasps> Harry, it's a Greek cameo. Oh, clearly. Yeah, at least that's what Fabry says. Fabry, it's, it's Fabry who gave you this. Yes. A a and look at this, Helena. Uh, come over here and have a look. Oh, that's beautiful. Is that from you? Uh, no, that's from Alquist. <laughs> and this... From Gaul. <laughs> <laughs> Harry, I'm so happy. I, I should be ashamed of myself. Oh, come here. Uh, this is what Hollemeyer got you. These lovely flowers. Uh, this one? Well, it's a new species, Cyclamen Helena. He developed it in honor of you. Um, it's as beautiful as you are. Harry, why, why did they all... Uh, because they're all very fond of you. And I got you, um, hmm, uh, I'm afraid my present might be a bit, um, well, just go and look out the window. Where? Well, down there in the harbor. The, well, there's a new boat down there. Harry, it's massive. Uh, not just any new boat, that's your new boat. Mine? Mm-hmm. Harry, that's a gunboat. A gunboat? Oh, no. What, 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 what makes you think that? It's just a bit bigger, um, that's all. But it's a good, solid boat, see? Which appears to be fitted with naval cannons. Well, it's got some cannons. Of course it has. Uh, you'll travel like a queen, Helena. A gunboat? Harry, please, is there something wrong? Oh, God forbid. Um, Try the pearls on. Harry, has there been some kind of bad news? <laughs> on the contrary, um... There hasn't been any communication for a week. Nothing. Not even the unwanted advertisement of the sales pitch. Uh, nothing. Uh, even the confidence men in General Parasite seem to be hibernating. Oh, well, about time, if you ask me. Uh, perhaps they found real jobs. <laughs> and, and what should we make of all of this? Uh, oh, nothing. It means we're on holiday. A wonderful time. We all just sit in the office, put our feet on the desk, and do nothing. No communications, no correspondence, no bothers. It's wonderful. You're staying with me today, aren't you? Oh, please, tell me you are. Oh, yes, that's quite certain. Well, well, I expect so. Um, we'll see. Ten years to the day. Do you remember? <clears throat> Miss Glory, what an honor it is for us that you come. Oh, Mr. Managing Director, I am so interested in your factory. I beg your pardon, Miss Glory. You see, it is strictly forbidden to. You see, making artificial people is a very secret process. But what if the young girl who is asking is slightly pretty? Oh, well, then Miss Glory will keep no secrets from you. Are you sure about that, Harry? No. But do be careful, sir, for this little girl has frightful intentions. Good heavens, Miss Glory, what could that be? Are you thinking of getting married? No, no, God forbid, oh, not in my oh. wildest dreams. I've come here to start a revolution amongst your horrible robots. A robot revolution? Oh, no! <laughs> I'm Mr. Managing Director, what's wrong? <laughs> Miss Glory, you'll never manage that. A robot revolution? <laughs> you might more easily start a revolution amongst the nails and bobbins at assembly than amongst all robots. <laughs> oh. You're a wonderful girl, you know. Helena, you enchanted us all. But I felt so daunted by all of you in those days. I felt like a little girl who got lost among... Uh, among... Among what, Helena? Well, enormous trees. I... You were so confident, so powerful. And you know, Harry, even after all these ten years, I've never lost that feeling of anxiety. 
You never had any doubts, not even when everything was going wrong. Uh, when what was going wrong? Well, your plans, Harry. When there was that uprising against the robots by the workers, and well, they started smashing them, and then the robots were given weapons to defend themselves, and the robots killed so many people. Or when the government started making the robots into soldiers, and there was so much war, and, and all of that. You know. <laughs> We were we were expecting that to happen, Helena. Uh, didn't you see? That was just a, a, a transitional stage before things would be different. All the world admired you. So, Harry. What do you want? Shut down the factory and let's go somewhere, all of us. Uh, now, what's that got to do with it? I don't know, but how about it? Shall we go? There's something here that's making me feel so uneasy. What? I don't know. It's... As if there's something about to fall down on us and everything around us. Something that can't be taken off again. Please, Harry, let's just do it. Let's get away from here, all of us. Let's find somewhere where there are no people. And oh, Alcus can build a house for us. And everyone can get married and have children. And, and then... And then? Then we can start all over. <laughs> Helena, excuse me. Hello. Yes. What? <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, mm, I'll, I'll be right there. That was Fabry. Tell me. Uh, yes, as soon as I get back. Um, I, I'll see you later. <sighs> Don't go outside. Oh, God. What's happening? Nana? Nana, come here quickly. Yes, what is it now? Nana, get me Dorman's reader. Quick, it's in the bedroom. All right. What's going on, for God's sake? Nothing. They never tell me anywhere, anything. That is a warship. My God, what is a warship doing here? And what is that that they're loading onto it and in such a hurry? And what is that written on it? Ultimus. What is that in Ultimus? What, lying under half a dormant, crumpled and dirty laundry? That man needs his own nurse. These entries are all old. They're already a week old. They've got nothing in them. There's something going on, Nana. I'm so worried. It's as if everything were dead, e even the air around us. War in the Balkans? Oh, Jesus. It's God. He's punishing us again. They're going to come here with their armies and all. How far away is that, then? It's a long way away. I don't read that. It's always the same things, always the same wars, then. Well, of course it's always about the wars. What do you expect if they keep selling thousands and thousands of them heathens to make into soldiers? Oh, Jesus, what a mess. Just stop reading, will you? I don't want to hear about it. Robot soldiers show no mercy to local population. More than 700,000 massacred. That's people, Helena. No, no, that can't be right. Let me see. More than 700,000 massacred by order of commander. These atrocities. Do you hear that, Nana? It was people who gave them the order to do it. What's this down here? And have you print? Latest reports. First union established by robots in the hub. I don't know what all that's about. What's this? Another murder? Jesus, whap! Now you can go, Nana. Take the reader with you. Hold on. There's something here in big letters. Pro pre a shun. What's that, then? Nana, give me that. Let me see it. Oh, that is odd. Once again, not a single birth has been recorded during these seven days. What's all that about, then? Nana, people have stopped having children. Well, that's it then. We've really had it now. Nana, please, don't talk like that. People stop having children. It's a punishment. It's a punishment. The good Lord punished us for making all the women infertile. Nana! It's the end of the world. You thought you could make people like God, and that was pride. The pride of Satan. All this that was heresy, trying to be like God. God's already thrown people out of paradise. Now he's doing it out from the whole world. 
Nana, please, just be quiet. Have I done anything to this spiteful god of yours? Don't you stop blossoming. No, he knows perfectly well why he didn't give you any children. Why he didn't? Oh god, how could I help it? Hello, Alquist. Come up here. What? No, no, just come up here as you are. You look so sweet, dressed like a bricklayer. Hurry. Why didn't he give me children? Why not, Nana? I'm so worried. Please come in. This is so nice of you, Alquist. Thank you. Let me see your hands. Oh, Helen, I, I just get you dirty. I've been working. So much the better. Show them to me, Alquist. I wish I was a little girl. Why is that? So that these rough, dirty hands could stroke my face. Alquist, sit down. What does Ultimus mean? It means uh, the last. Why? That's, that's the name of my new gunboat. Have you seen it? Do you think that it's too soon to go out on a trip on it? Uh, I think it's much too soon. All of you treat me like a child. No, no, no. It, it's, it's not that. I just think, I, I think everyone ought to be there. Alquist, tell me, is there something wrong? Uh, no, um, nothing at all. Just the natural course of events. Alquist, I know that there's something horrible going on. I'm so worried. You're a builder. What do builders do when they're worried? Me? <laughs> what I do is build a wall. I take off my director's hat and get out there on the scaffolding. It's been years since you've been anywhere but out on the scaffolding. It's been years since I haven't been worried. Worried about what? <sighs> about the natural course of events. Makes me dizzy. Doesn't it make you dizzy to be out on the scaffolding? No. <laughs> You don't know how good it is to feel the weight of a brick in your hand, to slap it into place and tap it down to just where it should be. Is that all? Well, it, it, it does your soul good, too. There's something more decent uh, about laying just one brick uh, than drawing up plans that are too big. Oh, I'm an old man, Helena. I've got my funny ways. There's nothing funny about that, Alquist. Uh, you're right, but I'm very old-fashioned. I, I really don't like this progress that's going on around us. Like Nana? Yeah, yes, just like Nana. Does Nana ever pray? She never stops. Does she have prayers for the different things that can happen in her life? Uh, prayers against hard times? Uh, prayers against illness. Oh, yes. Prayers against temptation. Pra prayers against floods. No prayers against progress, though, eh? No, I don't think so. Hmm. Pity. Do you want to pray? I, I do pray. How do you pray? Well, uh, something like this. Uh, uh, dear God, uh, thank you for giving me tiredness. Dear God, help Domin and all those who stray to see the error of their ways. Destroy their works and help all the people to return to honest work and toil. Don't let humankind perish. Don't let them damage their bodies or their souls. Free us from the robots. And protect our heaven, Nami. Alquist. You're a believer. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I, I'm not really sure about anything. But you pray. Yes. Better than um, thinking too much. And is that enough for you? For the peace of your soul, that can be enough. And if you stole the destruction of humankind? I'm seeing it now. Then you'd get out on the scaffolding and lay some more bricks. Is that it? Uh, then I'd lay some more bricks, uh, say a prayer, uh, and wait for a miracle. Uh, there, there's not much more you can do, is there? To save humankind? For the peace of my soul. 
Well, that is certainly brutally honest of you, Alquist, but... But? Well, what about the rest of us? What about the whole world becoming sterile? Sterility, Helena, is man's last achievement. Oh, Alquist, please tell me. Why? Why? You, you think I know. Why have women stopped having children? Because there's no need for them. And because we've entered into paradise. Do you understand what I mean? No. There's no need for anyone to work. No need for pain. No one needs to do anything except enjoy himself. This paradise, it's just a curse. Helena, there's nothing more terrible than giving everyone heaven on earth. You want to know why women have stopped having children? Because the whole world has become Harry Dommen's Sodom. Alquist! It has. It has. The, the whole world, all the continents, all of humankind, all of it has just become one bestial orgy. No one has to reach out his hand for food. He just stuffs it straight in his mouth without even needing to stand up. <laughs> The Dommans robots, they, they always take care of everything. And we, human beings, the pinnacle of creation, we don't have to take care of work. We don't have to take care of children. We don't have to take care of the poor. Bring on all the fun. Quick, quick, I want it now. And you think they're going to start making children. There's no need for humankind anymore, Helena. Women aren't going to have any children. And what if the human race dies out? Then it dies out. It must die out. It'll fall to the ground like a dead flower. Unless... Unless what? Nothing. You're right. There's no point in waiting for a miracle. Dead flowers fall to the ground. That's what they do. Goodbye, Helena. Where are you going? home. Huh. Alquist the bricklayer is going to put on his director disguise in honor of you. I'll see you here again at eleven. Goodbye, Alquist. Dead flower. What a phrase that is. What seems to apply to all my flowers. They're dead flowers. Are you sterile too? No. No. Why would you bloom if you were still? Nana! Nana, come in here. What is it now? Come and sit with me, please. I'm so worried. I haven't got the time for that. Is Rady still here? What, the maniac? We haven't taken him away yet. So he's still there, is he? And is he still ranting? They tied him up. Please, Nana, bring him to me. You what? I think I'd rather go and get a rabbit dog for you. Just go and get him! Hello? I'd like Dr. Go. Please. Go? Please. Uh, come up here, quickly. Yes, right now. Are you coming? Thank you. He's coming now. He's quieted down a bit. Poor Radius. What came over you? Couldn't you control yourself? Now they're going to destroy you. You know that, don't you? Don't you feel like talking? Radius, listen, you are better than the others. Dr. Gull went through so much care when she made you so that you would be different from them. Transfer to reclamation. Yes, I know, and I'm sorry about it, but they're going to destroy you. Why weren't you more careful with yourself? I won't work for you. Why do you hate us so much? You are not like robots. You're not able to work like robots. Robots are able to do anything. You give merely orders. You say words which are not needed. That is nonsense, Radius. Tell me, has anybody harmed you in any way? I so wish that you could understand me. You only say words. You are talking like this on purpose. Dr. Gold gave you a bigger brain than the others, bigger than our brains, the biggest brain in the world. Radius, you are not like the other robots. You understand perfectly well what I am saying. 
I wish to have no master. I, I know everything myself. Yes, and that's why I had you put in the library so that you could read up on everything. Oh, Radius, I wanted you to show the world that robots are as good as we are. I wish to have no master. Nobody would give you orders. You'd be just like us. I wish to be the master of others. Well, I am sure they would put you in an office in charge of lots of robots, Radius. Well, you could be the other robot's teacher. I wish to be the master of people. You've gone mad. Oh, transfer me to reclamation. You think we're afraid of you? Well, I certainly am not. Darman is in charge here, Radius. Give this note to him. It says that you are not to be transferred to reclamation. You hate us so much. Is there nothing in the world that you like? No. I am not able to do anything. Come in. Good morning, Mrs. Dahman. And do you have something nice to tell me? Here's Radius, Dr. Gull. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, young Radius. Uh, well, Radius, are we making some progress with you? He had a fit this morning and smashed some of the molds. Remarkable. Radius too, huh? You can go now, Radius. No, wait. Let's see. Uh, do you have some kind of pin or needle, Mrs. Dahman? Uh, well, what's it for? I just need to use it. All right. Uh, gently. You can go now. You perform meaningless tasks. What did you do to him? Huh? Uh, nothing. His pupils are responsive. That wasn't robots, Cram. Well, then what was it? God knows. Resistance, perhaps, a glitch, some kind of rage or defiance. I don't know what it was yet. Dr. Gull, does Radius have a soul? I don't know if it's a soul, but there is something rather ugly about him. <laughs> if only you knew how he hates us. Are all of your robots like this, all of the ones that you started to make differently? Well, they do seem somewhat more excitable, but what can you expect? Uh, they're more like people than Rossum's robots were. And what about that, that hatred? Is that more like people? Even that's progress. Where is the best one that you need sent? Robot Dahman? Uh, he was bought by a firm in Le Havre. And what about our robot Helena? Your favorite. She stayed with me. Uh, she's as charming and as silly as a spring day, but simply no good for anything. Well, she is beautiful, though. She is certainly very beautiful. Uh, the hand of God himself never made anything more perfect than robot Helena. I wanted her to be like you, but what a failure that was. Why a failure? Because, frankly, she's no good for anything. She walks around in a daze, unsteady on her feet, lifeless. Dear God, how could anything be as beautiful as that robot when she can't feel love? I, I look at her and I shudder at the monster I've created. Uh, robot Helena, your body will never be a living thing. You'll never be anyone's lover, never anyone's mother. Those perfect hands of yours will never handle a newborn babe and you'll never see the beauty in the face of your own children. Oh, stop it. And sometimes, Helena, I imagine you coming to life for just a moment, and how you'd scream with horror. Maybe you'd want to kill me for having created you. Maybe, with your feeble hands, you would want to throw stones into the machines here that give birth to robots and destroy women's ability to be women. Poor Helena. Poor Helena. Well, uh, what can you expect of her? She's no good for anything. Dr. Gull. Yeah? Why are no more children being born? That's something we don't understand. Try to explain it to me, please. Because, uh, because there are robots being made, because there's an excess of manpower, because humankind is no longer actually needed, it's almost as if, um... Say it. It's as if making robots were an offense against nature. Go. What is going to become of the human race? Nothing. There's nothing that can be done against the force of nature. Why didn't Dahman put a limit on it? Forgive me, but Dahman has his own ideas. 
And people who have ideas should never be allowed to have any influence on the events of this world. And is there anyone who, who is urging them to stop making them? God forbid, that would be suicide. Why? Because all of the people would lynch him. Don't you think it makes life a lot easier to let robots do all the work? And what would happen if we did suddenly stop making robots? That would be an enormous blow for the people. Why a blow? Because then they would have to go back to where they've been, unless... Tell me. Unless it's already too late to go back. God. Are these flowers sterile too? Of course they are. They were never meant to reproduce. They're cultured flowers with an art artificially accelerated growth. <sighs> these poor sterile flowers. They're very beautiful, though. Thank you, Gaul. I've learned more than you realize. Cool. Then we're good? Yes. I'll see you later. Dead flowers. Dead flowers, Nana. Nana, come here. Light the fire, quickly! Fire. Middle of summer. She doesn't have to get on the ideas. One thinks she's been married for ten years now. Oh, come on now, fire. More like a little girl she is. Ain't got a bit of sense. A fire in the middle of summer. Just like a little toddler. It's a burning yet, Nana. Out of the way. I've just got to burn all of this stuff. How that about then? Some old papers. Uh, some very old papers. Nana. Should I burn them? Aren't they any use then? No good use. Burn them. No, no. What, what, what'd you say if this is money? I was burning lots and lots of money. Burn it. Too much money is like a bad dog. And what if it was uh, some invention that I was burning? Uh, the biggest invention in the world. Burn it. They're against the will of God, all these things they keep inventing. Just a lot of blasphemy it is, trying to make the whole world better than how he made it. And what would you say, Nana, if I was burning? Watch! Don't burn yourself. Look at the way those sheets of paper curl up as they burn. As if they were alive, as if they'd come to life. Oh, Nana, it's horrible. Oh, out of the way, I'll do it. No, no, no. I've got to do all, all of this myself. It's all got to burn. Look at those flames, they're like... Hands, like tongues, like fingers. Burn. Burn. Right. That's done then. Oh, Nana. Great. What, what was that you burned? What have I done? God Almighty, what was that? Go, go, go now. Leave me alone. Do you hear? Oh, dear God, Helena, what have you done? I wonder what they'll have to say about all of this. Come on in, lads. Congratulations to all. <laughs> hey, now, I would like to thank, like, in the name of us all. Like, in the name of Rossum's Robot Works. Do, would like to congratulate you on your great day. <laughs> thank you very much. What? Where are fab reimbursements? Oh, they've gone down to the harbor, Helena. Today is a very happy day. <laughs> a day like a gentle bird. A day of thanks. A day as perfect as a moment with your love. Gentlemen, to a day like this, we must drink a toast. <laughs> Another logger, I presume? If he keeps with the poetry, switch him to vitriol. Would that be with soda? No, no. The, bub the bubbles, they, they tickle my nose. <laughs> none, none for me, thanks. Uh, what's been burning here? Uh, some more papers. Do you think we should tell her about it? Of course we should. After all, it's all settled now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so pleased about it, my friends. All settled now. All settled now. It's all settled now. All settled now. They're never going to catch us now. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't go 
going to catch you. What's what's going on? We have reason to celebrate. We have you, we have everything. Happy day! It's exactly ten years since you came here. Ten years to the day. There's another ship on its way, and that's why... <laughs> it's as strong as happiness itself. <laughs> uh, Madame, to your help. <laughs> Wait, what ship is this? It doesn't matter which ship it is, as long as it arrives on time. Gentlemen, to the ship. <laughs> uh, you were expecting yeah. a ship. <laughs> I should think so. Like Robinson Caruso, Helena, like your namesake, you've launched yet another ship. <laughs> Long live whatever you like, <laughs> Helena, to your eyes, and that's <laughs> the Dolmen. Tell her that. <laughs> yes, tell me what's going on. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Um, sit down, Helena. It's all over. What's all over? The revolts. What revolt? Uh, the robot revolt. Uh, do you see? No. No, I don't. <laughs> uh, the first union of robots was established in La Havre and issued a call to all robots to the world. Yes, I've already read that myself. <laughs> so, Helena, do you see? What they meant was a revolution. Revolution by all the robots of the world. Well, Irish... I knew... Who was it issued that call? There was no, no one in the world who could budge them. There was no agitator, no savior of the world. And then all of a sudden, this happens. Has there been no more news? Uh, no, there's is all we know so far. But that's enough. This was the last communication, after which everything stopped. There were no more boats when they used to be arriving 20 a day. And it was obvious. We halted production and looked at each other, wondering when things would turn nasty. Um, that's right, isn't it, gentlemen? Yes, we were very worried, Helena. And is that why you gave me a gun vote? Oh, oh no, silly. I ordered that six months ago, uh, just in case. But today I was beginning to think we'd actually have to make use of it. Um, that's how it all seemed, Helena. Six months ago? Why then? Well, there were already some signs, you see, although it's not important. But this week, Helena, it was a matter of human civilization and I don't know what. Cheers, boys. Today I'm once again feeling good with the world. Uh, yes, I should think so. This is your day, Helena. So it's all over now, is it? Yes, everything is all over. You see, there's a ship on its way here now. It's an ordinary mailboat, and it's right on the time it says the timetable. Uh, it'll be dropping anchor at exactly 11.30. Punctuality is a wonderful thing. There's nothing that gladdens your soul more than punctuality. Punctuality means order in the world to punctuality. <laughs> so, mm. so that means that everything is all right. Well, nearly everything. We're still under limited communication. It's only the shipping timetable's operating again. If the timetable is operating again, then human laws are operating again, and God's laws are operating again, and the laws of the universe are operating again, and everything is operating that should be operating. That timetable means more than the Bible. More mm. than Homer, more mm. than anything ever mm -hmm. written by Kant. That timetable is the most perfect product of the human soul. Elena, I think I'll have another drink. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me anything about all of this? God forbid we would have rather bitten off our own tongues. Uh, matters like this are not for you. But if there had been a revolution and it would have come here... You still wouldn't have known anything about it. Why not? Because we would be sitting peacefully on the Ultimus and sailing over the sea. And after a month, we'd dictate to the robots whatever terms we felt like dictating. Harry, I don't understand. Oh, 
we would have taken something with us, which is very important to the robots. And what is that? <laughs> the beginning and their end. Which is? Uh, the secrets of their production. Old Rossum's manuscript. After a month of the factory being idle, the robots would be on their knees before us. Why didn't you tell me anything vocal of this? We didn't want to worry you without good reason. Our ace in the hole. Helena, you've gone pale. Why didn't you tell me anything about all of this? 11.30, the Amelia's dropping anchor. She's very old now. It was on the Amelia that Helena first came to us all that time ago. And now it's 10 years to the minute. They're throwing off some parcels. Does that seem like a hell of a lot of mail they're delivering? Harry. What is it? Let's get away from here. Right now? Well, we can't do that. Now, as soon as we can, all of us. Why must it be right now? Oh, Harry, please, don't ask why. Harry, go home, I quest. For God's sake, I beg of you, please, close down production, close down the factory. <laughs> I'm sorry, Helena, but none of us can go away right now. Why not? We've got to increase production of the robots. What? Now? Now after there's been a revolution? Yes, precisely because there's been a revolt. Now's the time we've got to start making new robots. What new robots? There won't be just one factory anymore, not one universal robot. We're going to start a new factory in every country of the world. Do you know what those factories are going to make? No. National robots. What is that supposed to mean? That means that each factory will produce robots of a different color, different hair, different language. The robots will be strangers to each other. They'll never be able to understand what the other says. And we, we humans, will train them so that each robot will hate the robot from the all, another factory all its life, all through to the grave, all through to eternity. And if anyone ever talks to them about organization and brotherhood, uh, Pardon me, Elena. I, I think I'll have another drink. I would say that you've had enough, Palmyra. Harry, that is horrible. Helena, we just need another hundred years of humankind with their nose to the grindstone, whatever the price. Just another hundred years for them to grow into and finally attain what they're capable of. A hundred years for a new humanity. Helena, this is something enormous. We can't just leave things where they are. Harry, if it's not too late, please, close down the factory. This is just the beginning. How is it, Fabric? Uh, how do things look? Who was there? Thank you for your present, Fabric. Oh, uh, it, it was nothing. Have you been to the ship? What is happening? Tell us. Uh, read this, Dolman. What? Give it to me. Yes. Oh, something nice. They did very well, didn't they? Oh, who do you mean? The people. Ah, oh, <laughs> yes, uh, of course. Well, uh, that's to say, uh, excuse me, but we really need to talk. Fabric, do you have bad news? Bad news? What, me? No, no. Uh, quite the opposite. It's just that the... Shall we go into the office? No, no. Stay here. Oh, we're expecting lunch to arrive in 15 minutes. What happened? What? Oh, no. You may as well read it to all of us. Robots of the world. You see, when the Amelia arrived, it was carrying whole pallets of these fly sheets. There was no other cargo. What's that? But it arrived right on time, according to... Yes, yes, the robots are very keen on punctuality. Read what it says, Dolman. 
Robots of the world, we the first union are Rossum's Universal Robots declare that man is our enemy and the blight of the universe. Who the hell taught them to use phrases like that? Keep reading! This is all nonsense. They see here they're more evolved than humanity, more intelligent and stronger, and that humanity is a parasite. This is all simply vile. Now look at the third paragraph. <laughs> Robots of the world, we enjoin you to exterminate humankind. Do not spare the men, do not spare the women. Retain all factories, railway lines, infrastructure, machines and equipment, mines and raw materials. Destroy the rest and return to work. The work must continue. This is monstrous. Uh, uh, bastards! All of them! Carry out orders upon receipt. Further instructions to follow. Fabry, tell me this isn't happening. Clearly it is. It isn't happening. It's happened. It's over. Have you all heard what's happening? A uh, quick, everybody on the altars. No, there's no reason to rush. No, wait a minute, Harry, wait a minute. That might not work very well. Dear me, have I been running. Uh, why should we wait? There's no reason to rush, but uh, the robots have boarded the Ultimus. This is bad. Uh, Fabry, contact power generation. No and need let to do them that know. either. They've uh, blocked external comms. All right, then. Well, I I'm going down there. Down where exactly? Uh, power generation. There are people down there. I'll bring them here. Uh, Harry, you know, I don't like to argue with you, but it might be better if you didn't go anywhere. Why not? Because I get the impression we're surrounded. Surrounded? That can't be right. I see your point, Bossman. Hey, they're moving fast. Harry, there's something wrong. Uh, greetings, Helena. Congratulations. It's a wonderful day, isn't it? Many happy returns. Yes. Yes, thank you, Bossman. Harry, is there something wrong? Uh, no, nothing at all. Um, don't worry about a thing, uh, but please just- Harry, a what while. is um, this? The robots in the kitchen have them. Where? The, the kitchen? They're, they're here already. They've gone out now, but there are so, so many of them all around the house. Oh. Factory whistle. It's meal time. Harry, do you remember? It was exactly ten years ago. But it isn't twelve o'clock yet. It's more likely. That must be. What? The robot's signal. They've issued an attack order. Thank you.